an aircraft compass system, is designed to detect the Earth's magnetic field, and as we have seen, requires the horizontal component only. The vertical component introduces errors, and one way to overcome these is to pendulously mount the detector unit. Unfortunately, there are also other influences that can diminish the compass accuracy. The compass is also sensitive to other magnetic fields. For instance, those generated by electrically driven instruments and metallic objects within the aircraft. These secondary magnetic fields can cause the compass to deviate away from magnetic north. Such distortion of the actual compass reading is referred to as deviation. Deviation can be determined for each aircraft, and this is calculated for each individual aircraft by the manufacturer and by licensed engineers periodically. If the amount of deviation is known, compensation can be made to allow for these inaccuracies. Deviation is defined as the angle measured at a point between the direction indicated by a compass needle and the direction of magnetic north. The compass actually points to compass north as opposed to magnetic north. However, Compass North is not a geographic location. It is merely magnetic north that is affected by local magnetic influences within the aircraft. Deviation is calculated and applied to the magnetic heading to obtain compass heading. It is usually quoted in degrees east or west, but can also be referred to as either positive or negative. The compass deviation is recorded on a deviation card, and an example of this can be seen on screen. The deviation value is usually recorded over several headings. The example here shows a deviation for every 30 degrees of heading. To determine deviation, engineers carry out what is called a compass swing, where the actual magnetic heading is compared to the aircraft indication of magnetic heading. Consider an aircraft on a true heading of 100 degrees. We will use a variation of 25 west. Variation is west, so magnetic will be best. We add 25 degrees. The magnetic heading will therefore be 100 plus 25, 125 degrees magnetic. Now suppose we have determined the deviation on an easterly heading to be 10 degrees west. In other words, compass north is 10 degrees to the west of magnetic north. We can see that the angle between the heading and compass north is another 10 degrees so the compass heading would be 135 degrees. The deviation is west, and the compass heading is best. In other words, more than magnetic. Conversely, for an easterly deviation, we would subtract from the magnetic direction, as seen in the example on screen now. Remember to apply the rule to magnetic to obtain compass, and not the other way round. We have seen how to apply both variation and deviation in order to obtain compass heading. It is important to apply the correct values in the correct sense and to the appropriate criteria. A simple way to remember all of this is as follows. Cadbury's, dairy, milk, very, tasty. Remember, CDMVT. We will work from right to left and apply the west is best, east is least rule. Suppose we have a true heading of 100 degrees and a variation of 7 degrees west. The magnetic heading would therefore be 100 plus 7 degrees as west is best. 
1.107 degrees magnetic. We will use a deviation of 2 degrees east. East is least. So the 107 degrees magnetic becomes 2 degrees less. 105 degrees compass heading. It is possible to have a deviation written as plus or minus. In this example, 2 east could be expressed as plus 2. This is because the engineers calculate the error to be added to the compass to obtain magnetic. So if deviation is written as plus 2, change the sign to a minus and apply it to the magnetic. Conversely, a minus 2 is equivalent to 2 west deviation.